sir. Forgot your receipt. Check outlines. Who needs them? Have a nice day. This is the future of e-business. I don't know, man. You sure this is the right shampoo for my hair type? At least I think it's right. A customer is in a grocery store. As she picks up the shampoo, a commercial of the shampoo pops up on the monitor above the shelf. After the commercial, she gets discount offers on the products that are related to the product. The RFID chip that is attached to the product contains the product information. As the customer picks up the product, a sensor attached to the shelf activates the commercial and any related detailed information on the monitor located above. I don't have any friends yet here. I don't know anything about Ithaca, but I still want to eat something good. Like, what I really, really want. What should I do? What should I do? It's too big here. So many restaurants. So many different restaurants. I don't know what's good here. There are many places where RFID chips are being utilized in real life. Japan is already making the most out of RFID chips by implementing the concept called automatic commercials. This is the Shinjuku station, the busiest transportation point in Japan. Every day, there are more than 700,000 people who come in and out of this subway station. After launching a pilot service in 2001, such service has become available in the market by 2003. One Japanese company started a commercial service called Buffus, targeting citizens who use subways on a daily basis. Currently, Buffus has 37,000 subscriptions, and Ms. Guni is one of them. Buffus is a commercial service that relies on the synergy effect of subway and cell phone. As Ms. Guni exits the station after scanning her subway card, a message immediately arrives in her cell phone. It is the information on newly opened restaurants around the station that Ms. Guni has just exited. When she began her subscription to Buffus, she entered her preferences, and with that information, Buffus sends out the information that Guni would like to receive. Therefore, Miss Guni could enjoy a nice dinner at a newly opened restaurant because the information she received from Buffus. The restaurant, of course, could also easily acquire new customers and drive up the revenue from its collaboration with Buffus.
with the initial preferences the customer fills in at the time of subscription. Buffer sends useful information to the customer's cell phone. This allows a person to have the most useful information for the time being, for the location, and for the person. The most basic condition of the ubiquitous network has just been satisfied. I need to get some clothes for my girlfriend's birthday. I think this is good, but I don't know what kind of shirt will go well with this. Do you have any recommendations? Good. Uh, you know, I'm not a you know, fashion type of guy, so I don't know. You, you're not a girl, so you're not. I don't even have a girlfriend, man. I don't even have a girlfriend. How should I know? What kind of shirt do I need? Really God, I need some good advice. In a Siemens clothing store in Düsseldorf, Germany, the store utilizes RFID chips to assist customers in understanding products in an easier manner. One lady is looking at the display stand. As she picks up a cloth, all of the relevant information related to the product pops up on a screen above the shelf. The sensor located below the monitor reads the information stored in the RFID chip and display the price of the product, as well as what kinds of clothes would match well with the specific product the customer chose. This will be extremely helpful for people who are afraid of going to the shopping because of their poor fashion expertise. Wow. So solutions to the problem did already exist somewhere else. It seems like we just need to implement such technology. We're not trying to develop a new fancy technology right here. You know. It already exists. We just need to implement in the right way. True that, but I think there are some drawbacks to the concept that they have incorporated. Hmm. Well, I think that the amount of cost could be really high. That could possibly overtake the profits at the customer satisfaction level that are generated from the technology. Think about it. Right. Now you have to think about the costs associated with the peripherals. Like, you know, like monitors and chip readers and stuff. And you also have to embed chips into every single product. You know, dude, that's a lot of money. But don't you guys feel like this type of concept will be truly beneficial to our life if it was implemented without we noticing it being implemented? Yeah, just think about computers. When they were first invented, did anyone know that they would naturally weave into our lives? No way. Just like computers, you know. If the concept of ubiquitous is everywhere without noticing, but truly advantageous to what we do. Why not implement it right away? Yeah, but I think the companies are still unwilling to do so because if such concept becomes unsuccessful, it could be very detrimental to their service and the bottom line. Don't you think? Well, we're not the one who came up with this concept, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. That's true.